The epic beginning of the Lion King. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know. Anyway, this video is about the theology of the Lion King. So yeah, you don't often think about God and like theology going with the Lion King, but it hit me like a ton of bricks when I went to see the Lion King Jr. at the Erie Playhouse. A bunch of my middle school youth were in it, so hey guys, if you're watching, thanks for watching, but I just want to say congrats on a great show. You guys were awesome. So with that said, um, I'm watching The Lion King. We all know the story. I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it would take forever, but basically um, Simba is caught up in a really messed up lifestyle, all right, because his father gave his life for him, and then he, and then Scar, his uncle, said, run away, so he did, and he ends up with these two guys, Timon and Pumbaa, a warthog and a meerkat. And they're like my favorite, but they have this really, they have a messed up philosophy. They say it's a problem-free philosophy, but it's messed up. Okay, Akuna Matata. Um, now, there is something to not worrying. Okay, Jesus says, don't worry about your life, what you're to eat, what you're to wear. You know, your father knows you need these things, um, so don't worry about it. But Akuna Matata goes into this, like, idea that I think we all get stuck in, which is uh, no worries at all. No consequences to actions. No, like, I, like, you come first narcissism, what I'm going to eat, what I'm going to wear, you know, I don't need to worry about my past, I don't need to worry about, like, anything, how I live, how it affects other people, all I need to worry about is me, and I need to eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow I may die, it's not a good way to live, okay, it's not a good way to live for a follower of Jesus, especially, so he's stuck in this lifestyle, then he meets up with this uh, baboon named Rafiki, and Rafiki's like this, like, mystical kung fu -y spiritual leader, like in the pride lands and, and all that stuff. And he, he runs into uh, Simba and he recognizes him as Mufasa's boy, Mufasa's son. Mufasa was the king that died, um, right? So Simba's like, uh, no, like, well, yes, I am like Mufasa's son. And he goes, you knew my father. And Rafiki's like, ah, nope, I know your father. And he's like, uh, my father's dead. And Rafiki's like, no, he's alive. I'll show him to you. And so he takes him on this crazy chase and they end up in this like, weird like misty sort of mysterious swamp kind of place and he pulls the reeds back to this pool he's like look in there uh Rafiki does that and Simba looks inside and he sees his own reflection and he's like it's just me all I see is myself and Rafiki goes he lives in you and he like and Simba looks in again and his reflection changes to Mufasa's face he sees his father in his own reflection and then there's this huge cloud that appears on the horizon. And Mufasa comes out and he's like, Simba, you have forgotten me. And Simba's like, no, I haven't forgotten you. He goes, you have forgotten me by what you have become. You must take your place in the circle of life. You're the rightful king. Remember who you are. And this causes Simba to go back, save the day, become the king, all that stuff, right? But what hit me was that line, remember who you are. Because sometimes I can live in that Akuna Matata style. You know what? Whatever. It's a temptation to sin. Sin looks looks like fun. I'm going to go do it. And we sin, right? Everybody does it. But that's not right. That's not who we are. Jesus says in John uh, chapter 14, verse 20, he says, On that day you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. What Jesus is talking about is that Trinitarian life through our baptism and a personal relationship with him. We come into relationship with the Father by the power of the Spirit through Jesus. That's the Trinity, the circle of life. So we have to take our place in that circle as sons and daughters of God. And when we're tempted to live that Akuna Matata lifestyle and just be like, yeah, whatever, you know, I'm going to sin. No problem. We have to remember who we are. Guys, I'm not going to lie. Every time I've been tempted to sin or do something really stupid or selfish, I have heard that voice. Remember who you are. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to go look in the mirror. Do you see your father's reflection instead of yours? Because if we did, everything we say, think, and do, our Lord would be adored in that. And like Rafiki, we would bring other people who have forgotten who they are to realize that they have a father in heaven who loves them, who wants to live inside them, who wants to have a personal relationship with them. So this week, let's remember who we are. And let's bring the whole world to come to know their Father in heaven who loves them. All right, I'll see you next week on Tuesday. God bless you.